Hi there, Scott from Recreational Motorsports. I wanted to introduce you to some of our new products for the 2020 race season. All of our new products that we have available are going to be on our website or on our Facebook page, so check us out. One of our new products that we're going to release this year is for the JR Primary Clutch, and this can also be used on the Junior Dragster Avalanche or Overdrive Clutch. Uh, we tried to focus on wear points. Uh, JR makes a very good clutch, but I think we can improve upon a few areas. Um, as you see, the normal primary roller is a wider roller that has a, a ball bearing in it. When the clutch spins at high RPM, centrifugal force starts to throw oil out of the, ga or out of the seal area, which causes the, the roller to start to roll rough. What that tends to make happen is that you start to get inefficiencies in the clutch and you start to uh, have problems in shifting. On junior dragster side, that can be a matter of ETs or 60 foot times or whatever. On the snowmobile side, um, it just causes wear and causes irregular shifts. So what we've designed is a new style roller. It's kind of a proprietary plastic. It's self-lubricating. It has no ball bearing in it, so there's no worry about oil coming out of the seal when the clutch is spinning at high RPMs because centrifugal force will not affect it. Um, it comes in a kit as you see here with three precision washers, the three rollers and some Scotch-Brite. Um, this, this kit is really simple to put in. We send the Scotch-Brite and I'll show you here on a clutch. When you pull the bearing off there's a small surface here and what we do is we use the Scotch-Brite to take in to clean that area up. You slide your roller on You'll put your precision washer on, and then you'll also take and put your lock nut on. Now we go into detail in the instructions how to set the tension so the roller rolls. One of the pluses is, is we make these all in sets of three. That way when the clutch is on driving mode, every single one of the rollers is contacting a tower at the same time. This makes for a more efficient clutch and a better shifting clutch. Unlike the old roller that was wider and after a period of time would somewhat get egg shaped because it was softer. Um, you'll also see, and I'll try to show in this picture here, that the roller is actually sitting very centered in the tower, which gives a uniform load to all three towers. We feel that this is going to be a great product. We've had good luck with it over the summer here with the Junior Dragsters. In fact, we've sold a ton of them, and we feel this is going to be an exceptional product for the snowmobile racing. Thanks for the time, and I hope you enjoyed it.